Greetings people of YouTube, Wayne Hackman here aka Waxstar and in this video I'm going to teach you how to build a CCTV Raspberry Pi. If you're a tech head like me you might have some of these things already hanging around. An SD card, this is an old Raspberry Pi, I even got a brand new Raspberry Pi and a case to go with it. And I also had laying around a handful of old 1930 web cameras which um, are USB based which will work perfectly for this project. I did some digging around the interweb and I came across a website called My Closet Tech and on that they have an article telling you how to install Motion Eye onto a Raspberry Pi. They have all the links that you need. They give you a link to a GitHub page where there's various images where you can download Motion Eye for the correct Raspberry Pi that you're using. In my case, I've got the original Raspberry Pi, but other distributions for other Raspberry Pis are available as well. And once you've downloaded the right image for your device, you're gonna need to burn it onto an SD card using an SD writing program. I use Etcher. It's Mac-based as well as Windows-based, but there are other versions out there as well that can image SD cards. Once you've downloaded it, open Etcher. And then, very simply, once you've opened it, you can drag your image file onto the image. Select the destination of where you want it to burn. In this case, I'm using a 16 gig SD card. And then, hey presto, after a period of time, your image will burn onto that SD card, ready to be placed into the Raspberry Pi for your first boot. Once the image has been validated, then what you need to do is assemble your web cameras, your power supplies, and your SD card, and switch on the Raspberry Pi for the first boot. The article in question recommends that you plug a monitor in, but I'm using a simple network scanner here to discover the IP address that my DHCP server has given the Raspberry Pi. And as you can see, I'll scroll down, you can see all of my devices, and there it is, a my eye. Um, various numbers and the IP address of 192.168.08. It could be different for your network as well. Once you discover that, you put that into a web browser and if the image of the SD card went well, this should appear. A very simple login screen the first boot of the device is very simple. You put in the username admin and leave the password blank, but I would strongly recommend that you change that. When you log in for the first time, it'll give you an option right at the very top to say that you can configure a camera. Now I've got a camera plugged in just to see what's going to happen, and I choose the, the, the local V4L2 camera, click on OK, and surprisingly enough, it picks up almost straight away and as you can see here a rather pleasant image of part of my garden. After a bit of jiggery pokery and working out what this device does I managed to find three cameras and set them up and then after a while I repositioned the cameras to get some nice views of my garden as you can see here. Now for you that might be all that you want to do, but the actual Motion Eye My Eye software is really impressive. You can change username and passwords, you can choose the names of the camera, adjust the hue and saturation and brightness of the images, you can set the, the Raspberry Pi's IP address to a static address, you can choose what uh, text is burnt onto the images, you can choose where things are stored and how often you want to store them. You can even set up an email notification when somebody walks into the camera and sets a motion detection off and it will send you an email to warn you. I would advise you to spend some time just going through the, the whole host of different things that you can set up. It's pretty self-explanatory and quite intuitive and I'm really impressed that I managed to get this whole system up and running in a couple of hours. So there you have it, a very simple tutorial of how you can take an old Raspberry Pi or a new one if you have one, a few web cameras and build yourself a simple CCTV system. Thank you for watching and as always do the things that YouTubers do, please rate, subscribe and share.